Hey everybody, it's me, Tycoon Master 28 welcoming you back to Let's Play Cave Story. So let's continue. I was just in that room up here, and I decided to backtrack here, just so I could save. It was a good stopping point. That's why I stopped the video. Alright, so let's continue back so we can save Kazuma by getting that bomb. I should be working on the fireball. I like to keep all of my weapons maxed out, and I take the um, for priority's sake. I use the polar star because the polar star always comes first in my book. So it's the best weapon. Let me tell you, it'll get way better later on. But I don't want to spoil anything. So here we go. Um, one thing we couldn't get to before is. Uh, this area right here, because this fan wasn't turned on, and I just forgot to get it when we could get it. So, if I can get back up there... Oh, shoot. Come on. Alright, alright. Let's, let's try this again. Oh. <sighs> I'll, I'll get this eventually. Um, there we go. Alright. And we can go in here. And here we see another bed with red petals lying on the ground. Hmm, interesting. If you remember the uh, where we first got the missile, that was where uh, there was another bed with red petals. So that's that's kind of weird. We'll see. Um, we get a treasure chest here that contains a missile upgrade. All right, more missiles. That's good. Uh oh. So now we gotta fight this guy. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. He's gonna kill me. Man. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Level down. Oh, jeez. This guy is way harder than I thought he'd be. Dang. I made that guy look a lot harder than he was supposed to be. Basically, just spam him with the polar star and you should be okay. Um, I don't know what happened, but... Alright. Anyway. Let's just continue down. I might as well gain some experience along the way. This experience. Alright, at least I'm gonna get maxed out pretty quickly, so that's good. Oh, jeez. Uh, maybe not as quickly as I want it to be. Alright. And almost there. Almost there. Oh, I've gotta remember to stop by the, uh, save point, just to make sure to save, you always want to save at every save point. You never know when you're gonna die. Uh -oh. Maybe to refill my missiles too. Alright, level up. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, wait. There we go. Die. Alright, and let's come in here. Get our missiles and health refilled. Alright. I do want to save, thank you, and let's go out. Alright, continuing down to this room. The power room. I forget the room name. Uh. Yes. Yes, I have the charcoal. As you'll remember, we got that a long time ago. Jellyfish juice. Pretty easy to get. And the gum base. Thanks to Kazuma. Yep, let's begin. And... Cut to the finish. Yeah, they, they don't want to waste time showing all this other stuff, so... Alright, we got the explosive. Awesome. Go on, blow that door up. Oh, I just love this guy. He's so enthusiastic about his job. Even though we'll never see him again. Oh, I forgot to go to that. Oh, jeez. Always getting hit. Might as well get up that experience while it's there. Or while it's not there. I'll get a heart sometime. There we go. See, that's what I'm talking about. 
I think we need the bubbler's help for this. Thank you, bubbler. Alright, maxed out. Awesome. Now, just go to the door here. Press down as we're going to open it, but instead we set the explosive. That's the only time you can set the explosive. You can't use it as an item or anything to set it somewhere else and get all the stuff again and make another bomb. Because really, that's not how game works. And I just noticed, what is that little... You guys see that little white thing on a Kazuma sprite? Uh, what What is that? Uh, that's weird. My boy, how old is this guy? He's he's talking like an old timer. Oh jeez. Well yeah, I I am a cool guy, you know, from the from America. We we can do anything. Anyway. Yep. Just as I thought. Sorry if I spoiled it for you guys. I don't know if I said it was Kazuma before he told us we were Kazuma. I don't know. Um uh, Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Wow, you know, yeah, I I do, I do. Uh huh. I've met so yeah, she's in a cage right now, and she's also a mamiga. I don't know why you're human, but I don't know. We can't talk, so this is all hypothetical thing I'm saying to him. And the teleporter seems to be activating. Is it the doctor? Baby, I don't I don't know who that is. Oh, Professor Booster, yay! And our new character. A new NPC in the game, Professor Booster. Um, and yeah, mm -hmm. yep, yep. And you were surprised to see me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I hope I'm not as old as him. Wow. Well, yeah, we gotta hurry and find Sue. You never know. Wait, why is everybody in their family human and she's a Mimiga? That, that's just weird. I don't know. Red flowers affecting Sue? Hmm. Interesting. That's weird. I... I mean... The war? What? What, what war? And you guys aren't gonna tell me. Thanks. Alright. This is the longest cutscene I have ever ever seen. Alright. Oh, and a save point in health refillation machine. Is that even a word? I don't even know. Let's let's just save. I, I'm through. I'm gonna make up my own words. I don't care. Oh, and another cutscene. Man, it's cutscene galore here. Um, yes. Yes, you can. I hope. Of course you can. Hey, wait, wait, where am I going to ride? What? No, 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 no. You can't believe... No. And they die. I don't know if they did. I'm not sure. Let's just continue. I mean, we're going to have to follow them somewhere. We'll find that. We'll find them. I mean... Wasn't there a... Yeah, there's a stopping point here, but somehow they got past that. Interesting. Interesting. We better save here. We don't want to go through that cutscene again. Alright. Yes, I do. Thank you. Thank you, game. Um, I didn't want to do that. Alright. Enough saving. Let's get back there. How did I miss that one guy? Take that. Ha Ah, the bubbler is so satisfying. Except when it misses. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright. Let's go. No, I'm not saving a chakras, please. Ever since that time, give them the creeps. Oh, there we go, there we go. Alright. Avoiding the death traps. Alright. Hmm. And... Yeah, there we go. Oh. Well, thanks for giving me that.
that heart came after. Okay, okay, gotta time this perfectly. I don't know why I'm not using my fireball right now. Let's try this. Aha! I'm too good. Look at that. And... Um, actually, why don't we pick up some jelly jellyfish juice? You know, I've actually never done this before, so I don't know. But maybe we'll need it later in the game. Who knows? Who knows? Uh-oh. Oh, it works on this side, too. Huh, I never knew. Alright, jellyfish juice. Good. Maybe there's a fireplace later in the game. I don't know. I haven't paid it that much attention to know. Alright, with that... Oh, no! The motorbike? It's not looking too hot anymore. As if it was looking hot before. Oh, jeez. Yep, there's Santa still standing there. Alright. Let's continue back. I I do want to go to Arthur's house. Let's go. Let's invade his house one more time. And... Your weapons? Wait, what are you guys talking about? Oh, Sue's out of her cage! Alright. Red flowers, oh. Mm, he's a demon, huh? Why is he a doctor, too? I thought doctors help, help people. Well, I guess he could be an evil doctor. Maybe. Taroko. Uh-oh. You know, I haven't seen anybody else other than that fat kid, the fishing dude, the guy on the farm, and Taroko, other than those two. So, I mean, there, there can't be like seven of them left or something. Maybe that is seven. Or maybe my count is up. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, but they're okay. They're okay. It's it's okay. It's good. It's good. Kazuma and Professor Booster. It's a family reunion. Yep. Yep. More or less. Oh, yeah. One another cutscene they have here. Dang. Where am I in this? I guess I'm making my trip back. You know, I actually like how they do that. How they have the cutscenes when you're not in there. So you kind of gives a feeling that... I mean, there's two scenes going out at the same time. That's nice. Oh, and then here I come in. That's nice. Let's talk to these guys. Yep. That's good, that's good. The doctor's plans are proceeding exactly on schedule. If we don't do something soon, that is true. Troko's death weapon. No, I'll never allow it. Maybe he loves Troko. Who knows? Yep. Oh, dang, another start of the cutscene. Huh. Oh. Ah, uh, let's go. Uh, yep. Pretty much, that's what you're gonna do. And I'm that little, what do you tell- Oh, well, maybe a little to Kazuma. But, other than that, I'm taller than you, Sue. Jeez. Yep. Uh-oh, he's located the red flowers. Wait, how does he- How does he know this? What? Ah, what? Uh, this is weird. Oh, the sand zone, huh? Oh. Alright, the sand zone. We'll find the doctor, huh? Don't go after him, King. He's too strong. Oh, one of his servants. Oh, we can deal with one of his servants any time. Yeah. That is true. Ah, yes, yeah, Sue, go ahead. No, 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 no. What? A robot? I'm not a robot. I don't know. Maybe I am. I don't care. Oh, you connect to the sand zone. Hmm, that's nice. What? We? I just get forced to? Come on! But what will we see in the sand zone? And will we ever see the doctor? Find out next time on Let's Play Cave Story. This is Tycoon Master Tw 28 signing off. See you later!